Hi there and welcome to the GCP Mindset channel. I'm Carol. This is our part two of the video of safety monitoring, this time on medical device studies. When running clinical investigations on medical devices, safety of the patients is a priority and a requirement by regulations. In this video, we'll go over the responsibilities of a sponsor and the investigator in safety reporting in the EU for medical devices not bearing the CE mark or those with CE mark but tested outside of their intended purpose in a clinical investigation. Since the EU medical device regulation, the MDR, came into place on 26th of May this year, safety reporting for medical devices within clinical investigations is required to be in line with the requirements of the MDR. This is supposed to be done now via the Udemed web form once it will be available and fully functional. Until then, the summary tabular format, that's the summary safety reporting form, still needs to be used in accordance with the guideline from the MDCG guidance. The reporting form is study specific and covers only a given clinical investigation defined by a distinct clinical investigation plan. Let's start with the responsibilities of the investigator. The investigator is required to report any serious adverse events to the sponsor immediately, but no later than three calendar days after the investigation site study personnel awareness of the event. This includes SAEs that have a causal relationship with the investigation device, the comparator, or the investigation procedure. Secondly, any device deficiency that might have led to a serious adverse event if appropriate action had not been taken, intervention had not occurred, or circumstances had been less fortunate. Let's now look at the sponsor's responsibility in safety reporting. The sponsor is required to implement and maintain a system to ensure that reporting of the reportable events will be performed in a timely manner. The sponsor is also required to report all serious adverse device effects or SADEs and device deficiencies that might have led to an SAE to all national competent authorities where the clinical investigation is authorized to start as follows. Events which indicate an imminent risk of death, serious injury, or serious illness and requires prompt remedial action for other patients, users or any other person or a new finding to it immediately but not later than two calendar days after awareness by the sponsor of a new reportable event or of new information in relation with an already reported event. Secondly, any other event should be reported immediately but not later than seven calendar days following the date of awareness by the sponsor of the new reportable event or of new information in relation with an already reported event. Please also note that the sponsor may continue to report all SAEs to the NCAs until Udemed reporting is monitoring in order to facilitate the transition and give time for sponsors to update clinical investigation plans, study procedures in clinical investigation. But this only applies to studies which have started to be conducted prior to 26th of May 2021. We hope this simplified safety reporting responsibilities whether you're running a clinical trial or an investigation. Still looking for guidance? Our vigilance team will be happy to advise you. Use one of the links below to get in touch. Stay safe. Goodbye. Hey there! Don't forget, like and subscribe. But most importantly, click that bell so you never miss another video.